Damn it, this sucks. All right, it is a Saturday evening. I am here at a hotel room about uh, 10 miles away from Long Beach. And so I am doing the Long Beach Marathon tomorrow morning. This is my first time ever doing this race. This is actually the third time I attempted to do it. First time I got injured, um, lost all my money because I couldn't do it. And second one, I tried registering for it, but it got sold out and I waited too long. So I finally was able to register soon enough, stay healthy enough, and now I'm here. Um, as long as I don't fall out of my bed tonight. So yeah, I'm at a hotel room about 10 miles away. My wife suggested I do this because we had a very long day today. I started the morning off um, with our nonprofit Run for Grace. Me and my wife, we did a, a pop-up event at a, a uh, bike bike event at Lucky Luke where we meet our, our running club meets every Tuesday night there. So we thought it'd be a good collaboration. We did a little, little run beforehand and so that was an early morning and so and then I drove all the way here afterwards which is about two and a half hours away and so it's a good thing that I have a hotel room because now I'm only about 20 minutes away from Long Beach so uh, this is gonna be great so yeah I uh, went to the expo um, very nice um, I got my of course got my shirt got my bib here's a shirt looks very nice good quality I like the material um, I will definitely wear this in the future. So yeah, and of course there's my bib. And uh, yeah, it was nice. I got there about 20 minutes before they closed. And uh, so I'm glad I got there in time. That would have been a mess if I didn't because I wouldn't be able to get my bib. But anyways, I did it. I'm here, I'm at the hotel room. Uh, did some social media stuff and doing this video now. And now I'm about to um, eat and relax and go to sleep. But first, a lot of people have been asking me like, what is your goal for the Long Beach Marathon? And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna tell you, my goal for the Long Beach Marathon is just to do better than I did at LA back in 20, uh, back a few months ago, back in March. I finished at about like 5.21. Let's double check here. Uh, yeah, 5.21.36 according to my Strava. Uh, not the official time, but it's way slower than I wanted to go. And I was very disappointed in my performance that day. Uh, ended up bonking at like my house 16 or 17. Uh, took off way too fast. Was not ready for the pace that I was attempting. I was like going for a sub four and I wasn't even close to being a sub four. Uh, so yeah, I went off too fast and ended up bonking at 16 or 17. Ended up becoming a walk run the rest of the way and a very disappointing finish for myself. Um, so I took that as, you know what, Anthony, let's go back to low heart rate. So I did some low heart rate training this past summer. Uh, did a lot of alone miles. Uh, did some, did the Culver City stairs, did some long runs, um, did some workouts in between my shifts at work. And so it feels good to be finally be back with people tomorrow and a big group. And we're gonna see how this summer of low heart rate training went for me. Uh, my low heart rate, what I stuck within was like 130 to 140. When I did my low heart rate run, runs, which was the majority of my workouts, that was my zone, 130 to 140. Um, of course, I did some speed work and I did the stairs, like I said. So, um, but I did not do much strength work and I'm, I wish I would have done more. So um, we're gonna see how I, I do tomorrow. We're gonna see how this summer of low heart rate training, yeah, we'll see if it, it turns out okay for me. As long as I do better than LA, I mean, I, ho I, I wanna get closer to like sub five, at least a, a, maybe a 445 or something. I like that, that would be awesome. Um, I just wanna know that I'm on the right track. But if I don't, then it's just more data for me to take and use for the future. So that's my goal. All right, I got here nice and early. Luckily, I found a parking garage about a half mile away. So walking over to the start line now. Uh, not too hot, but 
my first tip for anybody doing this race is make sure you get your parking uh, stuff situated beforehand. They should send you links on how to do that in the on the website or in an email. And that is something I completely forgot about. So don't be like me. Get your parking. Don't have any stress. And get here early. done very humid I think I did it in about 35 10 there's no uh, there's no 5k mark so it's just an estimate I guess I think one of the hardest things so far is to stay within my plan and go slow and see all these people pass me <sighs> That is heartbreaking. I just want to go, but I'm hoping it'll pay off towards the end. So they have a uh, timing chip marker at mile five. I don't know why it's at mile five. But it's, my time is like 57, 25, I think. Unofficial time. Still feeling good. Sun's starting to come up. Oh, no sun yet, but it's starting to get lighter. miles in still feeling good we did a long stretch along the beach on the bike path and uh, thank god for the running clubs out there oh my gosh really helps now we're on ocean avenue or ocean boulevard something like that so all right 16 more to go Now time for some electrolytes. These and these. I just suck on them like once an hour. Good stuff. And that's actually one of my issues at LA Marathon. I lost all of my electrolytes at like the 5k mark. They fell out of my pocket or something. But this time, I made sure I had them in a very secure location. Mile 12. I must say the mile markers are pretty, pretty dead on. That's great. All right, half marathon down. Just under 225. If I stay with this pace and do like a negative split in the second half, I'll do a sub five. Still feeling good. 
It's a beautiful day here in Long Beach, California, folks. Nice day to hang out. Go for a 26.2 mile workout, run, walk, jog, whatever. Beautiful day. All right, let's get this second half done. Joys are getting older. Sheesh. Right, mile 14-ish, going up this long grade here. It's quieted down a bit, but I'm not sure how further we go until we turn back around. I'm learning as I go here. <laughs> Mile 17. I'm battling right now. You know what? But I made it further than the LA Marathon, so right now that's a victory. Gotta keep pushing now. And this college is a good dead zone. I can't wait to get out of here. Finally got out of the college. Oh, that was awful. Oh, that's the worst part of this course. <sighs> oh, got down to a run walk. So I guess like 17, 18 is like my limit at this point. Oh God, this is frustrating. I gotta figure out what the problem is. Uh, you know what, this is the point where I it's easy to have negative self-talk. I'm trying to stay out of that. Just gotta push through this. Oh man, about seven miles to go. Alright, mile 20. I got about 70 minutes to make it six miles and get a sub five. I feel like I can squeak that out. If I can do that, I'd be very happy. All right, let's go. All right, well, sub five's not gonna happen today. How do you feel? Safe to say I'm not gonna get negative split on the second half. I'm hurting, baby. I'm hurting. Oh, well, one of those days. Pain is temporary. More data to collect and uh, get better for next time. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, I can see downtown. But I'm on a half to go. lately at increasing the volume of my training as I get ready for the Long Beach Marathon. I hit like 30 miles for two weeks in a row, then I did a taper and I was trying to uh, surpass 30 miles again, but then my darling went on a trail run as she gets ready for her ultra and she tripped over her feet and busted her face up. And then that messed up my week of getting another 30 miles. So I need to make sure that doesn't happen again. What suggestions would you give me to help her from tripping over her feet and messing up my training. <laughs>